today is the first day of the Indonesia Open 2022 Badminton Championship at the Gelora Bung Karno Sport Complex in Jakarta, where badminton fans have already filled the stadium. Let's now learn more about the event with our reporter Reski Anasto and video journalist Andri Saputra. Reski, what do you have for us right now? Yes, uh, Rory, so today is the first day of the Indonesian Open by East Venture uh, 2022, which is held at Istora um, Senayan, Jakarta, where this uh, tournament is held on starting today, 14 of June until 19 of June. And what is so special about this event is that, um, of course, the people are, there are lots of uh, badminton enthusiasts coming here, despite on that, is that there are 22, sorry, 247 athletes are competing from 32 countries on this um, tournament with a total prize pool of 12, um, 12 million US dollar or equal as uh, 17.6 billion rupiah. And the, the, the player who compete on this event is also the top 32 players uh, all over the world. So the rank is um, 32 to the top 32 players are uh, competing on this championship. And as today, I was here at, um, since 9 in the morning. And let's, um, I want to give the recap on this um, tournament. So in the morning, it started with the uh, Pursala Sindhu from India against He Bing Zhou from China, which um, the match has won by uh, having Zhao from China, 21-14, uh, uh, and the second set is 21-18. And followed with the star of, uh, from Japan, which Akane Yamaguchi, who just uh, who played in this tournament and didn't play on the previous tournament of the Indonesian Master by Daihatsu, which um, Akane Yamaguchi had uh, won the match against uh, Mia Blick, Felt from uh, Denmark, which 21-15 uh, and 21-18. As for the Indonesian team, uh, there there are more than seven uh, teams are playing today, which uh, in total a 17. Uh, sorry, seven team uh, for doubles uh, for both mix and um, and the same uh, gender, and also the um, two singles are playing as well. So uh, the first one is. Uh, Kurha, Kuhar Janto and Kusuma Wati with a close match against Lamsfus and Lohao from Germany. However, they have to face the loss uh, with a score 13-21, 21-16 and 17-21. So it was a very close match with um, it's, uh, continuously until the, uh, the third set. However, on the third set, uh, the the uh, mixed double from Indonesia had to face the loss against the mixed double from Germany. And also followed with the second mixed double, which is um, playing against Korea, uh, Rifaldi and Mantari against Seo and Chai with the 21-19 uh, and 21-11 with the loss as well for facing Korea. With the uh, first match and second match was a very close match, which uh, the, on the first match, they tried to compete on with uh, the South Korean um, uh, players, but however, uh, until the second match, the, the second sorry, the second set, they couldn't uh, keep up and they have to face the loss. And on the main event, which happening on uh, this evening, is Ang Anthony Ginting against uh, Tommy Sugiarto. Uh, it was a very uh, uh, it was a close match as well, which Anthony Gidding start with the lead of 21-17. Um, and also on the second uh, set, uh, Tommy Sugiarto had, um, had to keep up the pace and keep, uh, keep the gap. Uh, so, but however, the Tommy Sugiarto had to face the loss as well uh, to, to Anthony Ginting at 22 to 20. So uh, that's for the recap of this uh, today's uh, tournament. And for those who wants to watch the match at the venue, you can buy the ticket uh, starting from 100,000 rupiah to 1.5 million rupiah. So, and also the spectators can get these tickets uh, from the PBSI uh, website or the badminton national badminton national uh, official website and uh, in the counters at the venue during the match. 
Back to studio. I can imagine the enthusiasm of badminton fans in Indonesia, Reski, because we've now got Indonesia Open and previously we got Indonesia Masters. Too many matches for Indonesia right now. Reski, thank you so much for your report from GBK Complex.